Hello you, it's me. Today we're going to do the Reading Habits book tag, which I was tagged in with Dina over at Books Yada Yada. So definitely go and check out their channel. So there's 11 questions in this tag. 11. Uh, I'll put them down in the description below. Feel free to steal them. Go and make your own video. Uh, tag other people in this video. Keep the train going. Question 1. Do you have a certain place at home for reading? I read in here, in bed, on the loo, on the sofa. We just got a cute new little table for the kitchen, so I'll probably start reading there as well when I'm having my breakfast. Number two, bookmarks or a random piece of paper. Actually, usually cards. Business cards, playing cards, collectible cards, card-shaped things like bus or train tickets. Usually when I'm out and I buy a book, I'll use the receipt for the book as a, as a bookmark uh, until I get home and I can find something card-shaped. But I have a bookmarking system and bookmarking rules, which I'll tell you about in the next answer. Number three, can you stop anywhere, or do you have to stop after a certain number slash amount of pages, end of a chapter? I can stop anywhere as long as it is at the end of a paragraph. So here's the rules. You've got to have a card that's got a clear front and a clear back. That means start at the top of this page, start at the top of the other page, mark the line, mark the line, finish the page but reread, same on the other side. It works. I feel it's a good system. Number four, do you eat or drink while reading? Yeah, I like a drink. I like some food when I'm eating. Um, I usually end up eating because I read so much of my lunch breaks at work and I'm using the time to sort of cram in some more pages. It's not like I'm reading a book and I'm like, you know what would go great with this book? Food. Five, multitasking. Music or TV while reading? I like background conversation murmur and it's even better if it's conversation I'm not invested in or that I don't understand. I don't like people talking to me as conversational background, but when other people are talking, that's fine. It's partly for this reason that I like reading in public, but if I'm at home or sitting around in my office, I'll put a channel on that's uh, BBC Alba or Welsh channels so that it's language I can't get super invested in, but it's still pretty background noise. Number six, several books at a time or one book at a time? That's what I'm currently reading. Seven, reading at home or everywhere. I probably read less at home than I do anywhere else, honestly. I love to read on public transport. That's probably my favorite place. Followed closely by a naturey place or cafe. I'm an introverted person, but I'm very much an outdoor cat that needs a lot of time walking around in the woods. Eight, reading out loud or in your head. I read silently most of the time. If there's a passage that I read that's particularly beautiful, I'll go back over it, read it out loud to see what it sounds like when it's spoken. People probably look at me like I'm crazy. If it's a long book that I'm having to slog through, sometimes I'll read out loud a bit under my breath so it feels like I'm being told a story rather than having words poured in my eyes. Question nine, do you read ahead or skip pages? If I'm reading a book and it's stressing me out, sometimes I will sort of through the book to see if I can catch an accidental glimpse of a character's name or a place name that's recurring. But that's rare because honestly, I love surprises. I think this question is more aimed at, do you skip bits of a book if a book sucks? And honestly, I don't. If I start reading something, I have to finish it. Otherwise, it's sitting on my bookshelf and it's like staring at me like, you didn't finish me properly. Number 10, break the spine or keep it like new. Trash that book. Crumple it up. Wreck it. It doesn't change the story. The words don't change. I'm probably less a book lover than a story lover. My books get bashed to pieces. I try my best not to ruin books that are lovely first editions or books that are signed that I have just on the off chance that one day they'll be worth something. But 99% of my books look like crap. 11. Do you write in your books? No. Gross. I never have in my life. Uh, besides English class at school where I had to annotate a copy of To Kill a Mockingbird and a copy of War of the Worlds. I don't see the point outside of education because I think that uh, notes of when you're going to have discussion about stuff to people and I don't have that many friends that read while I'm reading something that I'm going to be making a booktube video on generally I'll keep a word pad document open and I'll type the notes out as I think of them or I'll have a little notebook while I'm out and about to sort of scribble in so that's it 11 tags keep the train going I'm going to tag four people in this one too I'm going to tag Eleanor over at her channel Brittany at Slanted Spines Jessa over at Gavin with Jessa and Galactic Reads. Sorry if any of you have done the tag before, I don't think you have, um, but I may be wrong, might have just missed that. Uh, so thanks for watching uh, another tag video, and I've done quite a few this month. 
Uh, but thanks for sticking with me. More reviews coming. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Follow me on Twitter. Link in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.